Hello, my name Hi. is Cookwood Bas Bastian, this town is called Cookwood Bastian, and we will be talking about cocoa nips and powder. Why you should consume them. Okay. I've just started a new series called The Top 3 Reasons. Mm -hmm. I made this, this will show you the top three reasons. You've probably seen my top three reasons why not to consume table salt. Mm -hmm. But this is why to consume cocoa nips and powder. Okay, cocoa can you show us what they here. look like? Cocoa nips is here in the packaging and cocoa nips out of the packaging mm -hmm. looks like this. Okay. Now let's have cocoa powder. Mm-hmm. In the packaging. We got these in Holland and Barrett. Yeah, I'll give a link for them. Okay, can you show us a cocoa powder in the yeah. glass jar? Okay. That is it. So now let's get on to the third topic. Mm -hmm. Cocoa is an antioxidant. Just looking at my antioxidant chant. Aunt, aunt. Raw cocoa powder is the highest antioxidant on the chant. About 96,000 ORAC score units per 100 grams. You've probably seen that same score units for, for cocoa nips in my video. You can see nips is 30. 6,000. Okay, so how much is the powder in comparison to nips? Uh, powder is 96,000 and nips is 36,000. Okay, so they're the highest antioxidant uh, food. And you've also made a video about the antioxidants. Food. If you want to know how, meant how much the RAC score units were, it was per 100 grams, if you want to know. Different foods, yeah. Yeah, per Okay. So now let's click into the second topic, the ORAC score units and the rank. Cocoa nips is rank two. Cocoa powder is rank one. The ORAC score units of cocoa powder is 96,000 and for nips 36,000. So around 63,000 less for cocoa nips. Mm -hmm. I've got this, this pomegranate here for a reason. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you why. Pomegranate is also an antioxidant. It's Can we see it? Can you lift it up higher? Yeah. Okay. And it's a... How do I like to eat my pomegranate? What do I do? Roll it in cow cow, but I don't do that. And what else do I add to my pomegranate? Got your berries. Yeah, and what else? Got your berries is about rank four, and pomegranate is rank five. Okay. If you've been wondering, and pomegranate's ORAC score is about three thousand oh forty six per one hundred grams. Got your berries is 22,000 per 100 grams. So what, what are the benefits are there of eating uh, raw cow cow powder and uh, a cow cow nips? Let's go into... Apart topic. from it being the highest antioxidant food. Let's go into topic number one. Um, what effect does it do to your body? Mm -hmm. It... If you take eat cocoa nips and powder, they pretty much have the same. They do. They can prevent heart attacks if you didn't know. Mm hmm Blood clotting. Blood clotting. Mm hmm Blood clotting. Or even strokes. Mm hmm If you want to know. So there's a difference between the uh, and raw it, cocoa and the chocolates that you buy in the shops. Even the dark chocolate is still still fairly sweet in comparison yeah. to a raw cocoa nips or a powder. Uh, around chocolate has four times less the ORAC score unit of raw cocoa powder or nips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and what could you use it for? You could use it for smoothies. Okay, you can add it to smoothies. Yeah. That's what I do. Yes, you can you can add it, at least it helps you, but it also it makes your heart and, and arteries go as normal, mm -hmm. like you would add as normal. And also we made uh, another recipe which was really yummy with orange. Do you remember what that was? Yeah, cocoa orange truffles. Yeah, that's right. So, and they're amazing because obviously we only use as a sweetener uh, some organic dates. Yeah. Okay. But you can add cocoa nips and powder to not just smoothies, you can add it to much more. Okay. Any other ideas? Uh, you can add it even to your pomegranate. Mm hmm. As you can add your gudges. Mm-hmm. Here's my pomegranate bowl. You can make a hot chocolate as well. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's not as sweet as the chocolate from the shop, but yeah. um, if you give this a try, it is, it is worth the it is worth the try. Please put your video link in the description so we can watch your video. Oh, and maybe put that recipe on our channel if you want to have it. Which one? Uh, hot chocolate. If you if you put your video link in the description, maybe I will publish this video from the recipe in the comments. Okay. If you put it in the comments. Okay. And I've got one last thing to talk about about mm -hmm. about my channel that you probably have noticed okay i've been using sugar for my recipes lately actually that apple crumble was quite luxurious we put a lot a, a, not much sugar into that apple crumble making it really tasty we actually put double the amount of sugar into that black forest crumble in my opinion the apple crumble tasted better it had less sugar and then we've made the apple crumble again and we've tried to make the crumble without flour and without sugar with a tiny bit of honey and it was amazing wasn't it yeah okay so we might record that again and that will be uh, a vegan crumble and we can try to do it without sugar completely we'll get some lady pink apple star sweet and we'll mix it with some other ones yeah. so we are going to make our a proper vegan apple crumble oh. okay so that's all that i've got for today sugar free <laughs> yeah okay and let me show you